I've pieced together all the stone tablet pieces. Hmm, yes, I can see the carving clearly now. I heard a creaking noise. I think some old machine just turned on. With a little luck, something should happen right about now. Ha! Star Reporter opens door to Temple of Du- uh, Temple of Death. Cripes, this place is dark. There appears to be some torches and fire pits in here. Let's get this place lit up. The thing this tar can still burn. Very mystic, well-furnished room with an eerie-looking statue. What adventures await me in here? I got rid of that lighter. Amazingly, it finally went empty. I guess this must be the statue of the Aztec deity Tezcatlipoca. And, again, one of those names I can barely pronounce, let alone spell. What should I say? Besides, I don't think he'd say anything back. Purple Crystal. This plate is beautifully ornamented. I can make out all kinds of carvings and drawings. I better try it a different kind of way. I'm not too good at that, I guess. This doesn't help me at all. I should rethink this. It's my TV remote. Oh, there's a circular depression here. The stone is super hot right here. This could make a great cooking pit. The bowl is filled with a viscous, flammable liquid. Could be tar. This bowl seems like it was designed to last forever. A lot like everything else here. This Katlapoka is the... has a monstrous ruby embedded in it. I've never seen one that big. For centuries, this pyramid was buried under all kinds of sand and muck. Good thing, too. Grave robbers would have gotten this thing long ago. Hey, what's this? Clamps retracted and now the crystal is free. Surprise, Mr. McCrack. What? What do you want from me? Hand over the artifact. Easy come, easy go, huh? Rats. Oh my god. Huh? The door, the door, no! Damn it. Damn it. They shut the door behind them. They probably wiped out the drawing, too. Now. Forget it. I'm going to need some pretty heavy gear to do that. Get it. I'm gonna need some pretty heavy gear to do that. Forget it. I'm gonna need some pretty heavy gear to do that. Hey, what's this? A U-shaped stone. What could it be? Uh, 
I shouldn't waste the little time I've got. The door opened back up by itself. That's hot. Hey, I wonder if I could use this for baking a cookie. It's not Grandma's oven, but it'd be worth a try. What a cookie! Hopefully it's tasty and edible. Ah! This thing is piping hot! This should do it. Biggest cookie I've ever seen. Manufactured through sophisticated baking techniques. I will say this is well qualified for a Guinness World Record. Well, maybe two. One for making it and another for fitting it in my 16 square inch pocket. happens. Ha! Abloid Reporter opens Pyramid Chamber. More exciting than Capone's Vault. Now look at that. That looks interesting. No weird looking picture. It's some sort of machine. The top is dome shaped and three beams are branching out of it. What could it be? It might be a clue some Aztec kids art project. Hey, there's some smaller markings carved next to the drawing. Should take a closer look at them as well. No weird looking picture. It's some sort of machine. Could it be? Might be a clue. Hey, there's some smaller markings carved. Some Aztec glyphs. I can't read them though. They're too small and worn out. If I only had a magnifying glass, I'll bet Debbie could read these. I wonder if I could borrow her glasses for a while. Hmm, let's give it a try. Open sesame! Thing happened. Dang, that usually works. What, doggy? Is this what you want? What you really, really want? Then I'll give you what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> you know, there's a baker who would love to meet you. Got it! Finally. That should do it. With a little bit of luck, the wind should now be working again. <laughs> Lovely. Huey, Dewey, and Louie barbecuing marshmallows. Howdy, boys. Greetings, stranger. It looks delicious. We're terribly sorry, mister, but this is reserved for members only. So tell me, boys, what's your good deed for the day? 
We've been caring for the preservation of environment and nature. Well, the same procedures every day. What are you doing in here? And what's with the camp? Oh, that's what we call our special mission. We are caring for the Boreal Owl. Who or what on earth is a boreal owl? You mean you don't know that? It's a bird species, now almost extinct from reckless ongoing destruction of woodland. All of it enforced by man. And why do you guys have to care for him? Because the last specimen of this kind of bird is within this camp. It's going to lay an egg soon and thus will be in need of good care and tranquility. So it's well sheltered here? It does have good hideaway here, just believe us. Are you guarding him too? Why are you so concerned about that? Well, I'm a hunter myself, and I'm still missing a boreal owl for my personal collection. Could there ever be a meaner individual than you? I'm going to summon our young leader at once. Hey, keep your shirt on, man. I was just pulling your leg a little. I'm a reporter for the local nature conservation organization. Can I see your professional identity card? Unfortunately, I spilled my hazelnut creamer on it this morning. Oh yes, that's what we commonly do to a uniform. Well, I used to be a scout when I was younger. Back then, we were trying um, to rescue the two-headed squirrel from an evil developer. Didn't work, though. Ah, uh, yes, we remember. Some cruel reporter murdered that poor creature in a most barbaric manner. We do believe we can trust you. The bird's over there. But you better not go there. Any disturbance may scare him off easily. The whole area is under high security. Secured by cameras, microphones, even motion detectors. Guarded by most reliable scout members. Wow, you guys sure take your mission seriously. You said only your best scouts can sit there. Why not you guys? Because our young leader thinks us much too credulous. Isn't that a little unfair? That depends on your viewpoint. We can only really sit comfortably here, barbecuing marshmallows in the meantime. See you later, boys. I gotta run. Goodbye, mister. Hi. Greetings, mister. Would you like a marshmallow? No, thank you. I'm still a little airsick. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. I'm Zach, by the way. And you are? Thanks, Bert. Normally you would find Ernest here, too. But he appears to have gone to sleep in the meanwhile. So, what's it like being in some jungle far away from home, miles from the comforts of civilization? Well, so far it's been quite acceptable. Since those animals who hide away in our sleeping bags are the same as in our home country. Nor are there any more houses than you find in the big cities. <clears throat> and what about all the local animals that would eat you for breakfast? Not to mention poisonous snakes. Are you trying to frighten me, mister? Um, not really. Good. So you wanted to ask a question? What are you doing here, in the middle of nowhere? I mean, literally at the butt crack of the world. I'm a fire warden. Fire what? Fire warden. Clean bodies the consolidated team spirit of our group. Nothing would work without me. I make coffee in the morning. I see to it the morale of every member is constantly at a high level. So you're some kind of intern in the wilderness? Uh-huh. Making coffee, raising morale, working longer hours than anyone else? I mean, that is what interns do. The only difference is that you've probably kissed fewer butts than I have. Ah, this brings back memories. But tell me, where does the name Fire Warden come from? Well, in general, my main responsibility is to see to it that the fire will keep burning through the whole night. So you're up all night and sleep all day? Exactly. I eat marshmallows during my vigil. I'm off again. See you, kid. Hi there. Young leaders of the Woodpecker Scout group recruited from the associated freaks of Fauna, Flora, and Birds is reporting the service, sir. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Young Leader. My name is Zach. Zach McCracken. I too am honored to make your acquaintance, Mr. McCracken. How can I help you? Um, can you tell me what an 11 year old boy is doing in the Mexican jungle by himself? Well, not counting all the venomous snakes and giant ants, I mean. Well, it's simply my duty. Even my honorable mission to watch that burial owl while it's breeding and critically document its ovulation. Boreal owl? Never heard of it. Yes. If you know anything about this specimen, it belongs to the Stridgeday family, commonly called owls, which are indicated by their unusual nature and habits. 
Habits? Well, its actual breeding areas are always close to the waterfalls. That aside, these bears are quite sensitive when there is a disturbance like radio waves or air waves. That's why cell phones and the likes are strictly prohibited within this area. And why is it then that it shows such peculiar behavior? Well, listen, it's mainly because the females will mistakenly eat the males before copulation has even begun. After the female has recognized her mistake, she'd regurgitate the male again. It often happens that the females are even forced to inseminate themselves. That is pretty weird, I'll give you that. What about all these devices scattered here? Well, with this camera, we are filming the bird's behavior. By means of video footage, we will be able to comprehend its particular behavior much better. Moreover, ours could possibly be the very last footage of a breeding boreal owl. And what about those loudspeakers? Yeah, that's the thing we're having a little issue with. Since its actual breeding areas are always close to the waterfalls, and since there's no waterfalls in sight in this region, this requires us for a little bit more creativity. So our plans were to simulate the background noise of a waterfall. But not much later, one of our buddies sadly lost the cassette. That's why the bird is feeling a little bit uneasy at the moment. Ah, I see. I might be able to get you one. I'll keep an eye out. Rest assured that the associated freaks of fauna, flora, and bird kingdom would be eternally grateful, mister. Hey, William. Good news. I've got the kind of tape you were looking for. Now that's really good news, mister. So please insert it into our tape recorder. That would just be silly. I'm no biologist, but I'm wondering if the music on this cassette could get this bird to lay an egg. I should know. This one time I listened to this band called Explosive Consumption, and I got Montezuma's Revenge afterwards. I probably shouldn't have told you that. But anyway, I'm not a bird, so it's sort of apples to oranges. But anything's worth a try, ain't it? Alright, let's see if you headbang out to a little heavy metal. Rockin'. It worked. Wasn't trying to scare it away. But it did lay an egg. Score one for intestinal discomfort. Mission accomplished. William, we have liftoff. Yes, sir. Excellent work indeed. The cadet will be delighted for sure, sir. The egg is supposed to roll through the pipe and then land on this cushion. What do you want me to do? Blow into it? A nice and warm bird's nest. Which came first? The chicken or this thing? No, this egg is much too large to fit inside a microwave. It's too high up there. I can't reach it. 